Hey guys, we're over at the SIG booth. They got some new suppressors coming out, some really cool, innovative looking stuff going on here. Uh, this right here is their 338 suppressor. Uh, what you got here, we're gonna take this guy off and give you a rundown from the mount forward. Starting with the mount, you have a non shim needed mount. Basically what you can do with this mount is you screw this component right here with an Acme thread. You have some flats, an Acme thread, a little gutter, and a mating surface right here, a tapered mating surface. So you basically screw this component onto the gun, put the proper amount of torque, a little bit of rock set, and it's on there. It's non-indexing. So you don't, no, no shims, no timing, no nothing. It's already timed, lock it on there. Then you'll have some modules available. There'll be some muzzle brakes, there'll be some flash hiders, they'll have uh, uh, other different little things that you can then put into this with the crush washer, snug it up, time it in position, and your muzzle brake or flash hider is set without having any shims whatsoever for your mating surface. So once you get this all in place, let's take a look at the actual suppressor. They're gonna be doing a couple of different things. They're gonna be a 556, uh, a 300 wind mag and a 338. They're gonna have stainless steel, titanium, direct thread and QD options available. So you'll have uh, several different combinations available. Uh, when you look at these, it looks very different than most of the stuff on the market right now. First of all, you can see the visible CNC welds on the outside of the can. So this can right here is basically a, a welded baffle stack with no outer tube. Very innovative. They designed this to be strong enough to not require an outer tube. Keeps it very, very light. This right here is a 338 wind mag. I'm sorry, a 338 Lapua uh, rated suppressor. That's like 18 ounces, super lightweight. Uh, back here, they've they've eliminated as much weight as needed. They've taken about as everything off that they can to make these as light and nice as possible. So when you go to mount these, you have Acme threads right here. When you go to screw them on, watch this little guy right here. See how it dropped in that channel? The can cannot back off now, but there's also no ratchet to wear out. So you, the latch drops into position. So when you, to take it off, all you have to do is overcome that and the can will unscrew. So when you go to put it on again, drops into that notch and then it's snug it up to the mating surface and this is now snug to that. And it's, I'm talking rock solid. Uh, really very cool design. I think these are gonna do well. Uh, the other thing is, you know, this suppressor right here, they designed it to perform as well as the Titan QD from AAC. Titan QD right now runs about, with the mount, $2,300. This with the mount is gonna be $995. I'm talking really door buster prices on these suppressors. Uh, I think the, the basic 556 can is gonna start under 500 bucks. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it is, but right around 500 bucks for the basic 556. Here's a 308 can, again, very similar, a little bit, little bit shorter, uh, is definitely lighter. Uh, you can tell there's less material going on here. And again, same mounting system where you'll have this available to, to change in and out. The no shim mounting system, mating surface, you put it on there, Snug it up, it's rock solid, man. Another thing with these, no paint finish. This is a PVD coating on the outside of these suppressors, so you're not gonna have to worry about the paint burning off. Um, it, you probably could paint it to a color if you wanted to, but no more uh, black paint just coming off right off the bat, you know, once you start using it. So again, uh, kind of a titanium gray look to it. The, the stainless and the titanium will have the same color. Uh, they also have some Pistol suppressors available. Yeah, we'll cover the pistols later. If he wants to put them in, put them in.